The Nobel Prize in Physics was awarded to three scientists for demonstrating how weird tiny quantum mechanics can also occur in a system big enough to hold in our hands, paving the way for today's advanced supercomputers. Or if you want to hear how the Nobel Prize Committee put it, for the discovery of macroscopic quantum mechanical tunneling and energy quantization in an electric circuit. Let's break that down. Quantum mechanics shows how the world works on minuscule levels, atoms, electrons, and subatomic particles. At such small scales, the particles can behave in bizarre ways. A big one is particles can penetrate seemingly impassable barriers through a process called tunneling. This can be hard to see on a larger scale in everyday life. When a lot of particles are involved, these odd behaviors become insignificant. For example, a ball will bounce back against the wall each time. But this year's Nobel laureates demonstrated how this quantum Houdini tunneling can occur on even a more macroscopic scale. The prize winners are John Clark of University of California at Berkeley, Michelle Davre of Yale University and University of California at Santa Barbara, and John Martinez of University of California at Santa Barbara. In 1984 and 1985, the trio did experiments on a device known as Josephson Junction. It's an electrical current with two superconductors separated by a thin layer of material that acts as a barrier. In their experiments, the team fed a weak current through the junction and measured the voltage, which is linked to the circuit's electrical resistance. The voltage was zero, which they expected, but then they waited and found that it switched between this zero state and one with voltage. This was evidence that quantum tunneling that we talked about earlier took place. The tunneling showed how the charged particles behaved together as one, like it was a single particle in the circuit. But wait, there's more. Not only do subatomic particles tunnel, but they also do weird things with energy. They absorb or emit energy in specific intervals, like rungs on a ladder, nothing in between. That same year, the team saw this quantum behavior in another experiment. In their setup, the researchers introduced microwaves in their circuit at its zero voltage state. They found the system absorbed some of the microwaves and then jumped to a higher energy level, like electrons and atoms. This sounds really complicated, and it is, but this physics is actually what runs advanced technology today. The scaling power of quantum computer partly relies on this peculiar ladder type jumps in energy. The other feature is entanglement, where the particles can connect and share information in an unusual way, like a type of quantum Facebook. Our cell phones also use chips that rely on tunneling to store and move information. This award has come a century after the mathematical theory of quantum mechanics was fully described by physicist 